hey guys i'm skv and you're watching skv plays on and welcome to another stream of conan exiles today me and as you are back trying another time to do a co-op run hopefully today is the day we actually get to do a co-op run on stream um we did do a co-op run uh, last night currently we are in the unnamed city as you can see you may not be able to see Ezio's messages, uh, but uh, we will be kind of trying to get... Oh, hey, G9. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're going to try and get the uh, co-op thing done today, hopefully. And also, hopefully, we can get... Uh, two dragons for ourselves as pets we're gonna be uh, making use of ashuri treasure mod uh, as you i'm sending a invite to you now we're gonna be making use of uh, ashuri treasure mod which has a uh, dragon husbandry which means we can use the base game dragons as pets but to get that uh, we need to get a book from uh, well at least I made it such that the uh, admin spawn book the dragon hide book which gives us the knowledge to tame a dragon that particular book is a drop from any of the bigger dragons on the map so let's see how things go I'm sending another invite and another one just in case Hopefully today Ezio is able to join in. And hopefully on stream we can actually do a little bit of a co-op gameplay. Man. Hmm. Oh, Ezio, I've uh, changed my weapons also. I'm using two different weapons now. I got you another weapon instead of the uh, completely molten lava like T4. I got you a T2 tier 2 weapon, but I kind of upgraded it so that the damage kind of is close to a T4. It's a, it's that uh, blood crystal or blood flow type of a glow inside the weapon. I'm kind of using the T3 for the orange glow. I'm giving you the red glow. And also I'll show you another one of my favorites that uh, beer man kind of made the textures for. It looks really cool. At least for me it looks cool. You guys be the judge of it. You and G Knight, let me know what you think. Oh, speaking of which, Mr. Ezio, need to check. Ezio still sleeping. As soon as Ezio is joining in, we'll see his name on the right side along with those green bars. We'll see a blue bar. And then after some time the character should start waking up which means Ezio is getting close to loading in but since it did not happen last time on stream let's see how things go today oh by the way this particular tent is the lbpr uh what's it called a wanderer's tent uh, it's actually pretty cool it has uh, its own uh, separate uh, partition here which kind of is pretty nice I always I always try to make partitions in a tent but having it already there is much more cooler at least I kind of like it a lot so I'm kind of making use of this uh, also the knowledge of this can only be spawned by an admin I think because it's in a the knowledge is in a scroll uh again wanderer's tent is the scroll name so you can kind of get the knowledge from that scroll if anyone is trying to get it these are more like the stygian style tents that are kind of made into well lbpr tents now there are other different types of lbpr tents which uh, of course 
have no partitions also and also some other random meshes that don't have the cloth material but just have the skeleton of the tent if that makes sense or maybe i can show you one second as yo still joining please join <laughs> let's see decoration tents okay so you can see like that like I don't know what to do with this though it's probably for I don't know the aesthetic purpose of an entrance maybe you can use it I don't know but this one's the bigger one you probably might have seen it on Isle of Sipta and also since I'm using uh, LBPR's additional features I'm able to kind of change the colors of it as you can see including the cloth colors the rope on the inside also the staff colors it's kind of nice and also this one yesterday Xavier kind of showed me that coloring the second slot of the music barrel kind of lets you have a bit of a glow on the notes on the barrel which is kind of cool also speaking of which eto village shuffle play no need of chatter as you still haven't gotten in did you get another mismatch uh, something message if so just restart like what we did yesterday I'm pretty sure we'll have some dumb issues for a co-op gameplay the thing I don't understand is if I'm being the host of the gameplay why do we have so much of a trouble connecting it's I don't know As yo, you there? Let me know on the stream chat at least. Or did you crash this time? That's as your snake. He kind of got his uh, dog killed. Mod mismatch again? Yeah, yeah. Restart, restart. It's the same thing that happened yesterday. As long as I can get to that point where I see your name on the right side, that should be a good sign. Even if it disappears suddenly, you'll be able to join in the next time. So I'm just waiting for that to happen. Besides, we just need to fight a few dragons. I don't know how long that will take, but uh, we do have some decent weapons now. I'll give you the red one, which I made. Yeah. I just added uh, the upgrades. You get different types of upgrades. Uh, plus 10, plus 20, and plus 50. No. Plus 30 or something, which you can add to your weapons and you get uh, that much more damage that much more armor pen and also extra durability courtesy of beer man's mod blades of chaos along with getting the armor currently the armor is uh, 
admin spawn I'm guessing I don't think it's available on the uh, altar <laughs> here we go again uh, no I'm kind of having a I don't know I'm feeling positive about today's uh, co-op gameplay let's see if uh, the game kind of thinks otherwise or at least kind of let us back in let's see yesterday we did have a gameplay I mean we made it all the way till here from our base which is close to that beam of light okay until uh, Ezio comes back maybe I'll uh, go say hello to these guys here the katana okay come on oh oh she got me there one down two down I'm just gonna wait until the flames I really wanna get to a point where I can do the finisher trying I'm just waiting for those yeah that effect is gone so ah oh, come on ah the finishers are not easy with uh, too much of a strong weapon Especially the weapons that do like uh, damage per second, either it be flames or poison or whatever. Oh, did you see that? He hit his face on that. Oh, that was cool. I'm just gonna try and see if I can get a finisher, uh, you know, where they get stunned or something. Or what's the word they used? Oh yeah, welcome back as yo. Let me know, do I invite you? What is the dealio? Are you starting it now? What's going on? As yo, if you are starting it, just let me know when to invite you on the stream chat itself so that I can just. Okay, now I should be able to. Oh! That was nice, a finisher right there. I think it does the same uh, finisher as the uh, dual dual weapons, like the whirlwind blades and all that. So, oh, I see Ezio. I see Ezio's name. Let's see if uh, the character wakes up now. Come on. As soon as the character starts waking up, that's when we know uh, Ezio is kinda in. If the name disappears though, that means I gotta 
invite him again and then we'll be set to uh, do a co-op properly <laughs> this is the weird things that we both have to go through just for a co-op session and of course usually it's uh, you know what you're too loud shush get back in taking away the battle Okay, I'm guessing it's going to be the usual where uh, the name will disappear now and I have to invite him again and uh, it will work the next time I invite. That's the that's the thing we usually go to is joining. Yeah, I know. Come on. The character is not waking up. The animation is not happening, so I'm guessing your name will disappear now and I have to invite you again. Oh, never mind. I saw your character twitch a bit. Wait. I definitely saw your character. Okay, there. Your character is waking up. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, Ezio is here. Clan messages are good. Hero always enters late. Yeah, but you're a heroine today, dude. <laughs> to forget, we both are using female characters. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, chuck that weapon or keep it. I'm gonna give you this. Pick it up. You can check the damage as well if you want. I've upgraded it. You'll see the purple color around it. Hello, Mr. Ezio. The bag on the floor before it disappears. It's yo. Nanda yo. The bag on the floor. That's the uh, T2. You can check the weapon damage. And also give it some time. Don't just run around after soon after loading in. And he doesn't listen. Oi, that's my blood, dude. Nonda, you want a piece of me? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Bam. <laughs> you do know I can block you too, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, shall we go get those dragon books now? I like blood flow. I'm gonna show the others on the stream by walking a bit over here. Yeah, look at that. Mine has the uh, orange flow. I just thought I'd go with that. I wanted to go with the red, but I chose this one. Check this out. Ready for this? I'm gonna show you something that Beer Man made like a rework of the Blood Crystal Swords. Look at this. Look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> this, is, this, this is my favorite, dude. The Blood Crystal Sword. Beer Man's version of the Blood Crystal. We had made it like... Uh, or at least I'd given the idea to make it like the Black Eyes one. And then Beer Man just uh, later on, after a while, just perfected it. Even more better looking. Uh, you will name the Blood Crystal Blaze G Knight. Okay. Whatever uh, kills I get from this one, we'll uh, say G Knight got it. <laughs> Yo, G Knight, you still there? We finally have a co op gameplay going. At least we'll have one person happy for us. Okay, shall we? Baminos, we're leaving the. Oh, by the way, I renamed my uh, devil dog as Lucifer. Well, it's the same thing, but you get it. So, we're keeping these guys here itself. The bedrolls are going to be here as well. 
Uh, only problem is I need to check how far we will be traveling so that uh, it won't mess up your teleportation towards me. Oi, where do you think you're going? We're here to tame dragons, remember? We gotta take out the red mother dragon and then a green dragon. Did you forget the agenda? Nando. Every series has a... has what? Taught you. Okay, taught you one thing, always follow the light. Yeah, today we're not going towards the light. We're going into darkness. Okay, what time is it for you in-game? Sun is out. I mean, sun is there. Is it, tell me the time. Nanda. The icon is always going to be like that. It's afternoon, as in, exact time. You made your uh, in-game time on the right side, remember? Rather than the local time. I mean, it's local again. Oh, okay, cool. Leave the horse. We're going on foot. Because we gotta go through some skeletons as well. Leave the horse here itself. I would have taken the pets, but uh, yesterday I tried to fight a triple skull skeleton boss. Devil almost did not make it. So now he's Lucifer. Man, this looks pretty eerie. So silent. Hmm. Oh, where are you? I have to always search for you. You know what? You lead the way. I told you, right? Uh, on the map, the T-shape, Red Mother Dragon. You, you're gonna lead us to it today. And also along the way, you'll probably make use of your new blades. Okay, he's running. He's running. Also, on my screen, it's going to be night time as yo. Is it still afternoon for you and bright? Oh. Oh, okay. Then I guess uh, the time caught up. Good, good. Okay. That's the small one. That's the hatchling. Oh, there's the big one. That's the one we fought last time. Also, just remember where you came from just now, Ezio, because uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get killed. And did you pick up your potions from your horse that I had given? Okay, good. Well, lead the way. You're, you're the one who's going into the dragon's mouth today. You wanted the red one, remember? Also, why don't you use the Red Mother Dragon's uh, <laughs> torch against her? I just flail the torch a little bit. Maybe you can kind of agitate her into attacking you even more. Yeah, we are near the hammer I caught. Dude, Ezio, did you not see the dragon yet? Is he playing hide and seek? Where'd he go? Hey. Oh, he's already... Okay. <laughs> the hatchling almost took half of your health, dude. Nanda. Go, Ezio, go! Oh, that thing is... Oh, by the way, you do get some healing from the weapon too, so... Make sure to do some decent damage. Yeah, nice. Oh, nice dodge. Nice. Uh, by the way, you can switch to your uh, T4 if you if you think the flames are not that visible. Because these are tier 2 weapons. Even though the damage has been upgraded, the flame effects and flames that are supposed to be at T4 level 
won't be seen because these are more towards the uh, bleed and healing type the red ones I just thought these will be a bit more non flashy but also look cool compared to the T4s reporting SKV for nerfing me to the ground are you kidding me do you know the damage just compare it with your T4s see how much it is you didn't even do that I must show my T3 see that around 9600 durability 25 armor pen 50 health damage heal per hit is there but it's not too high because it's kind of balanced the healing it's not too quick it's kind of like how uh, you kind of do a little damage or something and your pets kind of get a little bit of HP here and there kind of a deal T10 Terminator I don't know uh, I don't know T5 is the last but there is a legendary one too it's an admin spawn chaos blade that one I don't think uh, we'll be giving it to you you'll go crazy otherwise we want to keep things balanced we want to keep you getting killed and keep humbling you every now and then otherwise you kind of go way in over your head let's go this is your fight red dragon red egg the book first you need to get the book learn it the knowledge okay uh one second or maybe not <laughs> no you you better go dude I'm gonna put some uh, light if possible. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I don't know who you're fighting. I'm trying to get some uh, lights for you if I can. Crap. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm uh, placing. Did you die? How'd you end up dead already? Oh jeez! Run away! Run away! Man, that thing runs quick! Oh, I'm so in trouble now! Oh! <laughs> Dude, I am so in trouble right now! Climb, 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 climb! Holy crap, hold up. You're on your bed. I told you, right? <laughs> you need to see the map and come back. Dude. <laughs> I think this killed you and instantly came after me. I'm holding a stupid torch in my hand and running around. I didn't even have time to heal myself. I almost died and came towards you now. Okay, I healed up. I've placed a torch. Where did I place it? Not here. Uh, let's get rid of that. Oh, boy. Don't want it to see me. Okay, I've placed two torches. Make your way to this place. Yeah, just keep coming in the same direction you're running in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit more to your right. Slightly a bit more to your right. You see that uh, dark passage on the map? Yeah, uh, come through that. Rather than the brighter looking brown. Go towards the dark brown passage. Uh, take a right. Full right. Full right. Uh, you're running towards the wall now. Wait, are you running towards the wall? Or is that the... Okay, never mind. I, I think I... Should be able to see you from here. Where are you? Okay, I don't see him yet. I mean, on the minimap, I'm... Clo oh, there you are. I can see you running. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep coming straight. I see you. You probably see the uh, torches as well. Do you want to place a bedroll here itself? I mean, maybe probably that would have been uh, much more smarter of us <laughs> to do. I'm gonna place another torch. Like, you know, just so you get a decent amount of space to run around. Uh, make another bedroll. Uh, can you make a bedroll? Or do you want me to pass you one? The ones in the tent are gonna disappear, that's for sure. You play oh, hello. I didn't see this here. Coins for us, no bed. Okay, making one for you. And dropping it. Pick it up. Oh, where do I put this? Okay, I'm gonna put it somewhere here, dude. In the darkness. Placed it. Oh, hello. Dedezio. <laughs> Shall we go then? Did you place your bedroll? Okay, he placed it right in the middle of the battlefield. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna get its attention. Not good. I'm gonna die soon. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, stay here itself. My bedroll is nearby. Should be able to come back quickly. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, what am I? Where did you go? Did you also teleport? Even hitting me, dude. Ah! You also died, is it? This is my time. Heal up. Crap, he got me. Holy crap. Heal up, heal up, heal up. I'll get its attention or not. I'm dead. Dude, get its attention. Uh oh. Almost there, dude. Go heal yourself up. Oh, I'm dead. Fish! Uh, where is corruption? Well, a little bit of it is there. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. This thing is healing itself up. Because we both died. Uh, 
Oh, gee. <laughs> run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh, that is too close. Come on, man. This is the worst ever. See, the blades are completely balanced out. Where the heck is Ezio? What do you mean you're floating? Get down then. Ugh, maybe I should have made a... Okay, here I go. Where are you, dude? You're not helping me out here. I'm gonna die. Get up, get up. Wait, how did I die? I didn't even know I got hit by the third one. Jeez, man, this is messed up. I thought we could take it, but I guess not. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, not now. Yeah, boy! Oh, that was so close. <laughs> you kept spawning in your bedroll and I was fighting right near your bedroll. <laughs> and you just kept getting killed every time you spawned in. <laughs> Anyways, you can pick up the book. Uh, <laughs> Zio, you can pick up the book. I'll take the other stuff. Uh, read the book. You should be able to get your. Knowledge. And I'm going to see if I can get some. We don't have like really good uh, tools right now, so I'm just using the axe itself. Whatever. Uh, just give me a second. I want to see if um, there's anything here in the box. Mm. We got some dye pack. Yeah, I'll take that. My, uh, demon blood. Ooh. So uh, I don't see anything else here. Well, Ezio, how was your uh, second Red Mother Dragon experience? I'm pretty sure it wasn't great. 
I'm in a constant loop of floating midair and falling down. Yeah, that happens when uh, someone. Er oh, dude, watch out! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch to my. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, these ones are so much more better sometimes. Oh, the blood on the crystal makes it look weird. Yeah, there we go. Blood is gone. Crystal looks way more better. You can pick up your bedroll. We are moving out of here. You got yours. I need to get mine. I mean, the book. Book is what I mean. I have only six potions left. Where's the green dragon again? Huh. Uh, where is corruption? As in, uh, G Knight, when you asked where is corruption, what do you mean? The corruption is not f uh, in the red mother dragon, is it? It's near the area where she is. That's why I kind of lured her out of that area. I still got a bit of corruption though. Ezia got a little bit of dead here and there, over and over. You wasted all your potions? Ezio? You have 10? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, uh, where is the green dragon again? I forgot. Uh, where did we see the green dragon last time? Uh, wait, come with me. I think supposedly this way somewhere. You following me, Ezio? Come towards the north of the map. I mean, south of the map. I'm going in the south direction of the mini map. I think I remember we are near that green dragon thing itself. We just have to go straight. I see a dragon already hatchling though. You want to take care of that one? Also, uh, this time make sure we place like our bedroll on top somewhere where we won't get hit. You know what I'm saying? On top in the sense... Let me see... Avoid the dragons by all means... But it seems like it's chasing us... Oh, there's no ledge over here where we can place it... Green dragon incoming! Now leave me alone, you little mutt. Yeah, how'd you like that? Ooh, how about we place our bedroll here? I don't know if we'll get killed, but... Uh, seems like a pretty nice... spot in between the stairs. If I can place it, that is... I guess not. Great. You already took care of it. Nice. Okay, we'll do one thing. We'll place the bedrolls here. I've placed one over here. I'll make a torch right near our bedrolls. Okay. Oh, what the? So that we know where to come. And also, let's see. Okay, this thing saw me. Run, boy! This thing is more towards melee. No fire on this one. I'm just placing whatever I can. Uh, 
Okay, I've given enough for uh, you. Oh, gee, what the heck? That hurt. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh, get yourself some healing. Or, never mind. Okay, somehow I am... Holy crap, that thing is... Switch. I'm using a, a bit of an advantage point here. I don't know if... What the? You got killed? I'm getting one shot. That's because you're not able to heal. And see its movement. It's it's very much like Dauntless, dude. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm... I have no idea where I'm going. Okay. Almost done. Yeah, boy. The thing is, it does this uh, neck movement backwards before it charges in. Green Dragon has this uh, one type of attack only, like melee only, and it does a lot of uh, horn attacks. And its main one is its tail, uh, tail spin thing, which it doesn't do that many times. But once I get the pet, it should be able to do that. Okay, I got my book. Got the knowledge. Uh, do you want a hardened steel uh, hasta? It's like a one-handed spear. Got perfected light padding. Ooh, interesting. Tail and neck swipe. Well, neck swipe. <laughs> neck swipe. I don't know. Neck. Uh, what it does is. It, it kind of uh, looks to the right or left before it charges front like a bull. It kind of does a little bit of a dash forward. Other than that, it's always trying to use its horns to hit you. So you have like that uh, uh, dauntless type of dodging practice, right? Just make sure that you see that uh, animation part of it and then just dodge it that's what i've been doing i see it do that and then i dodge i just roll out of it you can roll into it if you want to but time it right well you want to time it right either left or right you want to roll hmm. okay i'll get oh wait a minute wait 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 Crap, I didn't get lucky. We need to get another... I don't know where, but I got a snake egg from. Also, didn't get lucky with the dragon egg, so we're gonna be... Did you place your bedroll, Ezio? It's yo. It's yo. Hello. Hello. Earth to it's yo. None yo. Hello. Your head tracking is on point though. But well, that doesn't mean you're. Are you AFK? At least let me know if you go AFK. Honey. Okay. 
okay, you're moving around. Did you pick up your bedroll or did you put it even on the floor? Did you even put it on the floor is what I mean. Green Dragon is probably the more easier one to fight because its uh, attacks are pretty slow, visible. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you don't put your bedroll down, you'll spawn towards me, the host. Which means, well, you'll be right in the attack. I'll be dodging it. You won't even know when you're about to get hit. Now, let's go see if we can fight the red mother dragon again. You ready for this? Uh. Okay. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Because, uh, also make sure you use, uh, Nani, you wanna fight? Okay. See, even this one does the same thing. It tries to charge with a headbutt or something. Crap, I really need to get some potions from the horse. I have only four left. You're getting frustrated getting killed, huh? <laughs> You're not typing much. <laughs> That's why I know that... Uh, okay, it's not spawned back yet. So, let's go say hi to Mr. Alien person. Or maybe we'll uh, fight a few triple skull skeleton boys. <gasps> <laughs> I smell you. The stench of your kind has not improved throughout the eons. Oh, do you want to fight a bat? A white bat? A white demon bat? Yeah, let's go. It's right up there near those structures where I'm headed. Also, make sure you place uh, a bedroll somewhere here. Probably, where's the bedroll when you need it? There it is. Or, actually, come with me. I'm just seeing if there's anything here. Okay, from here I think you can see the bat, right? The white bat up ahead. Okay, so if you want, you can place the bedroll a bit more forward. There's uh, gonna be a bit of corruption here. But luckily we have a dancer back at home. Place it near the steps itself. Here itself you can place. I've placed one. Okay. Be careful of his uh, wings. Use your block also. Oh. Yeah. I'm switching to... Oh, nice. Lots of flames using the T4, I'm guessing. Ow. <laughs> nice. This one was easy. Perfected light padding. Dude, we got some like level 60 craftable items. Also, the physics on your top is going crazy. 
<laughs> which happens after a while of playing in co-op. You're using T2s? It was doing a lot of flame damage. I thought you were using T4s. Yep. Pick up your bed. Time to go to the next one. Wait, I forgot to harvest this boy. Oh, what do I use on this guy? Uh, skin? Skinning knife, maybe? Uh, bat skin, I get. What about this? Ah, same thing. He didn't give me demon blood. That's interesting. Usually some... Or is it the other bat on the other tower? Also, we'll be going to the archives to get the cartographer feet. You saw the alien guy, right? You're gonna be uh, talking to a ghost of that alien guy. Uh oh. Get ready. We got some crazies here. Yeah, I like the stabby stabby attack. Oh, this guy gave gold, oil, some good resources they drop now. Or maybe is it because of a mod? I don't know. Maybe. Advanced armor repair kit? Yeah, sure, why not? That's not dragon powder. Wait, did I hear some? Oh, he's fighting already over there. Nani? Also, just let me know if you're going into a fight because I don't have a bedroll down. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, Mr. Skeleton. What do you have? Meh. Nice. You're getting the hang of uh, the different types of spinning hits. Vertical and horizontal. The horizontal one is... This is weird. This is the first time we didn't go to the Basilisk to get our, uh, you know, dredger feet. Uh, you're going towards a triple skull boss, I think. Also, you missed another triple skull boss that was here near us. Yeah, well. Pa -pa 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 -pa. I did say I'll be following him, so... Where did you go, first of all? Eh? Oh, he's here somewhere. Uh... You may want to take a 360, I mean, 180, turn, come back. <laughs> Oi, you're going the wrong way. There's a triple skull boss here. Also, we'll be going to the archive in this direction itself, so that is also there. Also, you're leaving quite a few... Oi, oi, oi. Nanda. Take a left turn. Yeah, nice. There are some skeletons on the right side, but the bigger skeleton with the armor, that's the one you want. And yeah, bedroll first. Probably a good idea. You're still following me? take all of it I'll get the archers yeah 
You just don't get killed. He has his own patterns. Try to see that. And avoid his hits. Oh, what the... Advanced. Advanced. You do need to know that doing the flashy moves is gonna, you know, kind of, it kind of lets them get you more faster. Use the block plus heavy, heavy, heavy. You'll do the stab, stabbing damage. G uh, heal yourself if you can. Heal yourself, heal yourself. I'll get this guy. Nice. I'm kind of pulling him back whenever he's about to hit you. <laughs> that way I can at least make him avoid the hits. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, boy. Let me. Oh, nice. I wanted that. Heavy padding we got. Good amount of it too. Uh. These triple skull don't give keys, right? I think it's those uh, other world bosses. Also, Ezio, if you come back here, there's a loot box, random stuff, but it did give a Grandmaster armor repair kit. I'll be, uh, just let me know if your armors are getting its durability, you know, kind of diminished also did you check i gave you like a helmet in your horse's inventory that was a legendary helmet that i yeah so you could have used that helmet actually you know what we are close to the tent anyway take a right turn go front no 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 take a okay, come back here Robert, follow me. Hmm? So, in your uh, horse's inventory, yesterday I told you, right, I fought a triple skull skeleton, almost got my dog killed. Yeah, so, that guy, probably his name is the Executioner or something, he ended up uh, giving a helmet. Also, I've given you the uh, scroll to learn the Wanderer's Tent. Also, where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh! <laughs> like I said, your top is uh, playing slow-mo time. Yeah, you don't want to do that. It's, your whole model is messed up. Is this co-op thing? I don't know why it happens, but it happens. It used to be a bit more better when the things were like spring fast, but now that it's completely slowed down, the physics are weird. It just kind of stretches out the top. Did you get the helmet and also the scroll? I need to get some potions. Yeah, yeah. Why don't I take all of them? Yeah, you can make it invisible if you don't like it. Uh, you know, right in the inventory, right next to your character, there's a slot called style. Those slots. You just have to check that small box and it becomes invisible. Yeah, you got it. Never mind. Let's go. Let's see if the dragon is back. The red dragon. This time you need to use a cleaver. 
See if you can uh, maybe get lucky with the egg. I usually use a cleaver to get the egg, but I don't know if this cleaver is good enough. It's a stone cleaver, so... The chances of getting a... Where did he go? Hey. You do know you're going in the wrong direction, right? Or are you going... Yeah, of course he did. He went after the executioner. That's the guy who gave the uh, helmet. You're gonna die soon. <laughs> uh, that's IQOL issue. It was kind of fine uh, yesterday, G Knight, when we started. At some point, it was actually working fine. And then for some reason, I told him to change the physics. Yeah, of course. Why not? Bring him towards me, you crazy. I do that every time. You fight him. Oh, boy. If he, if he can actually follow us, maybe he can fight the dragon for us. But I'm guessing he'll run back. Yeah, loser. Scaredy cat. Scaredy skeleton. Did he just stop? <laughs> Got scared a little bit. So that says limit line. Well, not really. You can keep hitting him. Kind of keep moving back or whatever. But yeah, there is a given radius that they chase you. But after that, they just go back to their spot. Because, of course, they don't want us to go and make a boss fight another boss. Also, to be honest, yeah, they don't usually kind of end up fighting each other. They end up ganging up on us. So, wait, where's my bedroll? Crap, I forgot my bedroll. I'm making another one. Okay, let's go. Use the stabby stabby. Wait, dude, you don't want this guy coming later. Ow. Oh. Yeah, boy. <laughs> You're still here. Look at that. Chest is still empty. Oh, he started it off. Oh, he started it off. Watch out. Did you die already? Oh, I'm dead. Are you kidding me? Halfway through, hang in there. Heal up. Watch out, watch out. Heal up. Oh crap, I'm dead. Oh, thanks for taking the attention away from me. Oh, incoming, incoming! Yeah, boy! Okay, I'll take the bu- Oh, oh. And guard eye patch, okay. Okay, now, make sure you use your cleaver or something. Where'd he go? Oh, you got, you got killed? <laughs> I did not see that. I did not see that. Keep an eye on the rewards. Did you get any? 
Like it should be like a big red egg, basically. It's not easy. It's a, it's still a chance drop. Also, I don't know if the stone. No, not the head. The egg. That we can use it as a trophy, maybe. We can hang it on the wall. I'm pretty sure the Red Mother Dragon is probably hanging up your head as a trophy. Every time it kills you, it'll put one new head up top. <laughs> oh, nice. I got a sickle. Misa is gonna use a sickle. Not enough space. Uh, do you want some Grey Lotus potion? One sec, I'll take half of it. Oh, I can't take it. That's weird. Split. I... Split. I don't know, the stupid thing is not letting me... Oh, you know what? Take the whole thing. Can't take it at all now. Man, this thing is weird. Oh, these new icons are kind of confusing now. Utility... Where the heck is potions at now? Is that potions? Uh, man, these Funcom people always trying new things that one person wants to try it out himself in the team. But ends up making it for everyone in the community. They never fixed it and never would. Uh, yeah, it seems that uh, IQL is also... Uh, the source file is available if anyone wants to try something. At least that's what the uh, modder put it up for. You can try it out if you want to do something about it with the IQOL. It's, uh, it's actually, the source file is actually available, G9. In, Disco in their Discord group. Oh, uh, dude, dude, we gotta get back now. Incoming sandstorm, Ezio. Seriously, five minutes AFK now? I mean, I, sh I don't think we would get hurt that bad, but... Uh, Ezio, tents, can I make anything? I can't make anything. What about this? Yeah. Okay. I'm completely corrupted now. And my character's skin is becoming very zombie-like. This is what he does. Ezio is good at uh, just going away. <laughs> also, for some reason, I myself am not able to... Wait, let me move this... It completely blocks my character off, so that's why I kept it to the side. Mm. I don't know, maybe if I make it like translucent-ish or something, I don't know. Well, this is again courtesy of uh, Beerman's mod called the Simple High Tent. Which is available on the workshop. And as you miss the sandstorm. We can make our own simple hide tents immediately and then avoid the sandstorm. But for some reason we can't avoid the corruption though. As yo, you do know the red mother dragon will show up sooner or later, right? You missed the sandstorm, by the way. I protected you with a tent. Not that you needed any protection, but still. 
Let's go pick up the uh Let's go fight the green dragon. I want to see if I can get the green egg at least. Your bedroll. Man, this stupid issue. I wish it wasn't there. Also, as you go into the sunlight and look at your character. Do you see anything different about her? No. Check closely. Do you see? Uh, make sure you remove your weapons and see your back. Hold your weapons. Yeah, do you see something weird about your back now? Scar? No. You're losing blood content in your body. And also look at your own face. Do you think it's as pretty as you started off with this game? Or is it more prettier now? <laughs> yeah, basically. Corruption. You got a little bit of it. I got more than you. So... Yeah, you can also see uh, we're turning gray in color. Lots of veins popping out, wrinkles. It looks like the blood is being just taken away from the body. Along with the color that comes with the blood. T. Let's go. Let's go say hi to a green dragon. And then maybe we can go back. Also, you didn't get the red egg did you what if i get lucky with my green dragon egg are you gonna be jelly what do you mean you'll report me there's a chance drop dude it's not like i wanted the red mother dragon to not give you the egg anyways let's try uh Turn left. Also, it's kind of nice that it's more bright now. I don't have to place torches everywhere. And which means my blood crystals are gonna look way more cooler. Yeah, boy. Also, make sure to know that you have low health. Hello? Bedroll? You forget very quickly, young Padawan. And we need to place a bedroll. Oh, man. Also, I never tried it, but usually the egg drops from the triple skull bosses itself. Not the... hatchlings, obviously. So, yeah. I'm gonna go in. You try to attack it from behind. And also, keep an eye on the... Oh, actually, come with me. Let's take out the smaller one on the left side. Uh... Ezio. Don't, don't go in yet. He doesn't listen. You need to make sure you attract only the small one. Yeah, see? Okay. Now, that's the only one left. I'm gonna go attack it from front. I'll try to do all the dodges, and uh, yeah, you do the rest. Try not to do too many flashy moves. See this? Oh my god, that hurt. You see that attack? Is he even 
What are you doing, Ezio? Oh crap. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Almost there, dude. Almost there. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go for... Oh, got it! Green dragon egg. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. I told you, right? Gr green one is easier because it has more of a... Um, uh, easier attacks to look at. The only one which is fast with uh, this dragon is the uh, paw attack or whatever, the claw attack. The one where it smashes you on the floor with its right arm or left arm. That's the only one which is fast, which you have to kind of always expect is going to happen and be ready for a dodge. But what you're doing is, you're going crazy hack and slash gamer. <laughs> You're using the spinning flashy combos. So you don't get time to dodge. Beerman knew people are gonna m make use of that too much. So he made a balance where there is no delay. Or should I say there is delay when you kind of have to dodge uh, in the middle of an attack. So you have to time it right all the time. Does that make sense? That's why I use only this attack with my chain blades. Uh, see this? Heavy, light, heavy, light. Because it keeps everything horizontal. It doesn't send me up into the sky. So I have enough time to dodge out of things. What you're doing is this. You do this and then you're in midair. It's easier to hit you. You can't dodge out of it. Yeah, and you don't use your block for some reason. Also, uh, let's go see if your red dragon is back. We need to get a red dragon egg and we can make a pet. Almost there. We can get a pet quickly. I mean, I would have told you we could use our pets, but uh, you saw how many times you got killed, right? Red mother dragon. Also, our pets are still at level zero. Problematic. They'll get killed. You already got our... Uh, what's her name? Cynthia got killed, remember? You don't even know she got killed. <laughs> oh, by the way, anyone who doesn't know, Cynthia is like... Uh, like uh, the guard dog, the Rottweiler that I presented to Ezio. Ezio got too overconfident and just went fighting as he would. And as you've seen, didn't pay attention to the dog following him because he thought it's still following him and he took it into some camp. Next thing you know, only Ezio returns. I'm gonna... You're gonna fund her funeral? What funeral? You didn't even find the body. You don't even know where it died. Also, yeah, G Knight, you're, you're absolutely true. Uh, with the uh, co-op gameplay, the physics on the client is messed up. Only when I get uh, close enough. Yesterday it was fine because, well... Okay, Ezio, do one thing. Go to my physics. Uh, put everything as zero. Alpha, linear spring, everything as zero. Just put it to zero. And apply to character.
and then yeah remove the top and then put it back on again just to make sure it gets applied you put everything to zero done everything to zero both on left and right holy crap it's still happening though wait uh run around a little bit <laughs> it's still happening dude did you remove the top and put it back on again that's weird what about you on your screen is my character kind of messed up or i mean my character should be fine for you but on my screen whoever is watching the stream also now you look a little more like kratos you mean uh, without the uh oh you mean the gray skin of course Actually, I can do that. I should just uh, kind of change the skin color to an ashy look. I did that on Savage Wilds, but I forgot to do it here. I'll do it here as well. I'll, I'll change the ashy color and then put the Kratos war paint as well. As yo, your dragon is here. Also, oh my god, everything's messed up. Do one thing, just go back to uh, the settings and put it to default and apply I think it's the same whether you change it or not I don't know why that is but it is an issue with the IQOL physics okay bedroll bubba oi 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 mamu not on the floor you want to put it somewhere up top you know? Also, I don't even know if it can be put up top here. Can it? Yeah, it can. Holy crap! Your character is all glitchy. See, Ezio always used to use the uh, male character. But very recently, he started uh, using... Oh, incoming! Incoming, incoming. Now take out your uh, cleaver, nice we got a dragon scale helmet. Take out your cleaver and start uh, hacking away at it. Use light attacks if you can. You have a cleaver right? Mine is stone, even I use stone cleaver bear. Let's go. Yeah, just go for it. Light attacks. Keep an eye on the reward. See if you get a red egg. Come on, come on. And? No? Check your inventory. I 
I have a green dragon egg. Yeah, boy. Yeah, really, that physics kind of... I wish we could cancel the physics, but even then, on the client, it doesn't apply for some reason. No luck? Okay, let's do one thing. Let's get back to the base. Come back again. We'll keep this dragon for crafting and then come back again. By then, the uh, red mother dragon would have spawned in. What do you say? Like I said, you're gonna get jelly if you don't get your red dragon. <laughs> I'll I'll try to use the cleaver this time. Uh, see if maybe I can get a good chance for the uh, red egg to drop. You did not give me. Dude, this is exactly what I mean every time. You think you're the one providing the luck? Uh-uh. You ask anyone from when we used to play Dauntless? You know how lucky I used to make you? First day you try, you get your hunger sword. I tried two weeks in and I still didn't get it. The grind was unbearable. But then that was like five years back. I still hold a grudge for that one thing. Is he fighting something already? <laughs> As yo, the uh, enemy magnet. Not even a magnet. He just goes and agitates. You brought a skeleton all the way to here? Boy, you need to... Okay, never mind. It went back. I guess it... Uh... In Warframe, every time you played with me, you got a prime part. Not with you. With Dragon. Early in the morning. With you, when I play, we have to do a lot of runs. You, you do know you're kind of... Fixing yourself up. You know, to reveal the actual truth. Because if Carrie and Dragon were here... Dude, you stop jumping, man. On my screen, the, everything looks distorted on your top. It's not pleasant to look at. Feels really bad. I wish we could cancel the whole physics thing, but... For some reason, whatever settings you apply to yourself, it doesn't seem to show on my screen. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm picking up the tent now. And we are getting out of here. Get your uh, Nagini to follow you. Let's go. Also, I heard that Spectra still hasn't gotten his uh, war blueprint. Let's see if you can get him lucky. To get the war blueprint. Oh, by the way, we're just talking about another game. Uh, me and Ezio uh, play Warframe. And the uh, blueprint parts that we get to craft items. Where do you go? Oh, there you are. Do you want to fight a triple skull scorpion, Ezio? Ezio. Okay, park your horses on the left. Over here. Put down a bedroll as well. If your legs are broken or something, just crouch down and then stand up again. It fixes it. At least for me it did. Man, why does this thing not arrange... The way I want it. Wait, where's my bedroll? Did I not pick up my bedroll again? Ah oh, man. I'm wasting so many bedrolls. Uh, 
Okay, place your Nagini also here itself. We don't want our newly acquired pets to die. And get your blades out, buddy. Wait, it's not here. Oh, that it is. Ezio, it's getting to be dark. That scorpion's also completely dark. It's a scorpion king. We don't want to fight a completely dark enemy in the dark. Unless there's some moonlight. Uh, Nagini is still following you. Is your beta? Sap ko bichu ke pas le ja raha hai tu. Put it on guard and then we'll go. <laughs> Sap or bichu. Sap CD khelega kya? No one Okay, did you see it? This is one of my favorite uh, creatures in this uh, game. And Exas Extreme Mod has the Queen Scorpion as a mount, but I wanted this one as a mount. This one looks cool. And it has this uh, part on its back where it looks like a seat itself. You know, just where its tail starts. Scorpions and Origins were the... Yeah, kinda, yeah. Okay, you're up. Also, this guy has a 360 tail swipe. Oh! You got to know now, did... <laughs> and he poisons you. Man, I'm taking so much of its attention towards me. You better make the best of it. Also, keep an eye on the tailspin. It will do that at any time now. That was close. Oh, he got me. Ooh, I'll take the sword. You can get the skeleton key from him. Uh, harvest this guy. Use a skinning knife, maybe? Which one gives Iker? I forgot. A uh, skinning knife is... Uh, Probably chitin or chitin or whatever it's called. Uh, maybe use a pick. See if you get Iker. Just one hit always do it. Or never mind, you don't listen. Using skinning knife. Nana is your. What did you get? Both chitin and Iker you got? Okay, nice. Uh, check if you got the skeleton key. should have like a golden key this was a world boss triple skull usually gives a key get it no what hmm interesting before a certain update for these uh, age of blah blah blahs, they used to have these world bosses along with the loot box right next to them. Yeah, you do have it. Okay, okay, that's good. Keep it. 
We'll need it to open some boxes uh, in some places. And we might end up getting some legendary stuff. Also, uh, come backwards. Away from the trees and into the desert. You want to pick up your stuff. I'm going to pick up my uh, horse and dog and head back to camp. Also, remember to pick up your... Uh, that's not the horse. Uh, take a right turn. Yeah. Move towards the west of your minimap. Yeah, I see you're getting close. Oh, there you are. Uh, Ezio? Uh, axe and pickaxe gives the most ichor. Yeah, I wanted to try each tool, but as you already finished harvesting it. But yeah, pickaxe, right? Pickaxe is what I wanted to use. We don't have a pickaxe yet. As you're the harvest master? Not really. More like a... Jump straight into battle. Don't worry about getting killed because the host is SKV and he'll just be your uh, teleportation device or something. Would you stop whacking into my horse, you crazy? It's like I need to get away from you. But the problem is, in co-op, the more I try to get away from you, the more you easily teleport towards me. But then again, I have to get away from you a very, very far distance too, even in co-op, for that fast travel to actually work. Oh, my horse gained some level 7717 HP. I reset my uh, damage output. Also, did you notice you can use your chain blades on your horse, but it uses only one of the blades? Oh, it's using both of it. Interesting. I don't know if it's like, uh, it's still a bit wonky. It's still work in progress. Well, let's see how uh, things go in the future. Animation is not messed up, it's work in progress. You don't use the word messed up. You use work in progresso. Comprende? Also, you may want to avoid the snake that's near you. It's a pretty big snake. And also, we've been through the uh, Neeb's contribution there, or tribute. To the Neebs gaming team. Now again you're bugged moving backwards. That's probably because you're far away from me. I'm the host. Wait, let me get close to you. Probably that would fix it. Did fix it? Yeah, if you're too far away from me, that's what happens. You want to avoid that uh, red anaconda or python. Anacondas are in Amazon. Desert is Python. Okay. Man, look at that. The light we put upstairs is kind of showing downstairs. <laughs> it looks like a small garage area. Park a huge mammoth down there if we had one. Yo ho, dancer, be back home. Ezio, if you're thirsty, I put up a new tree. Also, you can go near the uh, dancer and she'll cure you of your weird, you know, 
करप्शन जस्ट सिट नियर दी डांसर डूड Where do I place this one? Actually, I place it here. You guys can stay over here. leather is not there who oh, wait a minute nope mm. 37 hardened steel Dude, can you make uh, you already heal up? Losing corruption, I'm gonna take a seat as well. Nope, that's not the one. That one. Yeah. Hello, Hooch. I'm going to take Hooch out this time for some uh, leveling up. You want to bring the dancer along? Or actually, nah. Keep her here. Oh, also, uh, the dancer is wearing the uh, Twitch Drop uh, war paint. The red slashes. If anyone watches the Twitch streams of Conan Exiles, whichever streamer on Twitch, uh, for two hours, you will end up getting that uh, twitch drop i think it's there for a while so you could try getting it mm, spiders and bugs sorry i'm uh, looking at the messages a bit late g9 uh spiders do give uh, silk i think with uh, sickles or that might have changed now i need to check to put an egg into the animal pen not <laughs> oh wait no this thing actually oh no compost and uh crap it has its own ingredients that i need to use oh, i forgot uh, ta 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 tools weapons components okay components see the thing is uh yo as you d check your inventory if you have some mushrooms puffball mushrooms like green ones i have like volatile gland for your uh, red dragon crap i need some mushrooms where do i find oh uh 
One second, dude. I'll be right back. I'm going into the forest behind the structure. You might get glitched because I'm far away from you. You enjoy the music. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna see if I can find some mushrooms in this area. Down here. Can there be mushrooms here? Uh, I mean, you would think there would be, but usually they're near water. Oh, they might be near the water sources. Uh, hold on, Ezio. I think I may have to go to the oasis. Uh, near to that giant snake that we saw. <laughs> oh, don't send me flying, please. I don't want to go flying. A small rock at a proper time could probably send you flying if you're trying to go down a hill. Always try to avoid even small rocks. I'll be right back. Or you'll probably just uh, teleport towards me. That's the only thing that's gonna either happen or not. Come on, come on. Please find some mushrooms. It's not even for the uh, character's pleasure. It's actually for a dragon. No, Rhino, leave me alone. I'm not here to fight. Or maybe I could a little bit. I am looking for mushrooms, so... I'm willing to fight if you are. Hmm. I did get a weapon, didn't I? One-handed. Ooh, Spectre's Bane. Uh, there's no skeletons here, so... We'll go with the one-handed Hasta. That should be fun. Also, I need to repair this. Oh man, where's the sickle when you need it? Tools, tools, tools. Oh jeez, for a second I thought something's chasing me. I got some aloe as well for weak aloe potions. Except, uh, there could be a snake here that I need to avoid. Wait, what did I need again just now? To repair, right? Yeah, there we go. Repairing. Oh, you sneaky. As soon as I took out the... Yo, horsey. Get, get. Yeah, stomp him. What the heck? No, no, no. Yo, you dumb triple skull thing. Why'd you start... How did that thing even come all the way here? That thing usually never leaves that place. Yeah. That was a bit terrifying. Green mushroom? Oh yeah, green mushroom. Wait, did you find it? Are you going away in another direction, Ezio? By any chance.
You're chilling at base? Okay, that's good, that's good. Thanks for reminding. Green mushroom, I'm, I'm searching. I know there is w somewhere or the other, the green mushrooms here. I'm just not finding it. I'm pretty sure there should be some here somewhere. Get him, get him, boy! Yeah, the main reason why I named my horse as Forest is because of Forest Gum. When I want to tell it to run, you know what I'm gonna say. Run, Forest! Run! Well, I can't find any mushrooms here. I'm pretty sure there were green mushrooms, or maybe there wasn't, and I'm just kind of... Ah, oh, what? Yeah, get him! Yeah, stomp him! Thank you! Man, one of them had green mushrooms. The puffball mushrooms. As a drop item, and I didn't pick it up. Because I completely thought I did not need it. Even though when I was looking at it, I was like, maybe I might need this at some point. And I forgot that we are actually trying to get a dragon too. Uh, now what do I do? I'm really not able to find... Okay, you know what? Yo, Mr. Wino! We're taking you down! Oh, you're here! Thank you! I thought all of a sudden my doppelganger showed up. Oh, nice! We got... You want a shield? Actually, I'll take it. Silver bars. Also, uh, harvest this one, dude. You'll get the skeleton key again. Where is the mushrooms? Also, did you come here running or did you get your horse? Running? <laughs> you should have like two... Uh, 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 you're not stealing my horse, buddy. Did you uh, check if you got like two skeleton keys now? Where the heck is mushroom? Yo, G Knight, do you know any spot near this oasis that might have like mushrooms nearby? I mean, it's got the cactus here. There should be mushrooms. Ezio, could you take out a giant snake here, please? Yeah, go for it. Thank you. Man, you would think there would be some mushrooms here in the oasis. At least near to... Even indigo is here or whatever that thing is supposed to be. Come on, man. How far do I need to go now? Or just give me a second, I'm just seeing where... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. No, that would be here. Do one thing as you uh, head towards the... I don't know where mushrooms are now. 
<laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's go towards uh, Crocodile Boss. Uh, go to your east side of the uh, minimap. All the way to the east. Right side. Right side of the minimap. Full right. Don't go inside the camp though. I mean, either way, you'll probably teleport to me if uh, I go too far away from you, so... Also, just keep an eye on uh, any side of uh, the road. I don't think there's any puffball mushrooms in the middle of the uh, desert, but I'm going towards the water body, which is somewhat close to the crocodile boss. Right about somewhere in this area. Oh, I see the trees. There should be a small area where the crocodile boss is, right over here. I think you'll probably teleport to me in a bit. So hang in there. Did you actually teleport to me when you were in the camp by any chance? Ah, that's why no horsey. Okay. Okay, there's a few crocodiles and a pretty large one at that. But I'm mostly here searching for puffball mushrooms, which I can't see. I definitely can't see any puffball mushrooms. How the heck do you go all the way around, dude? Number. Wow, the the frame rate suddenly went down. Oh, that was cool. I just jumped off a ledge and then grabbed onto the tree. Man, they have desert berries. They don't have puffball mushrooms. Come on, man. I was so sure it might be here. Uh-oh. Uh. Yo, 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 yo. No, I'm not ready, dude. I didn't put a bedroll down. Oh, he won't piece me. Oh, he had to go and fight. <laughs> Actually, this is not bad. We can take him. Oh jeez. Holy, okay, that's too much. Incoming tail spin. There you go. Do you want the hardened steel gr great axe? It's like a two-handed axe. you want it? Mr. Ezio. Okay, at least harvest it. Another skeleton key. Right here. Yay, yay. Okay, I'm kind of going down the river or whatever this stream is. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Bones. I'm sure to find mushrooms if I follow the stream. Please. J3, J4, J5. Wait, that's L3, L4. G3. That's G. One, two, three. That's way too far away from us. We want something in eight and seven right now. If that's possible, actually, 
just hang on. I kind of think there should be some mushrooms along this path. As you know, it's closer to the water body. Is not. Uh, yeah. Always check towards the water bodies. There's a stream on your left side. Did you already jump down? And please don't try to dive into the water. It's really not deep. Also be careful. We do have some salamanders. Or iguana to be exact. That do spit poison. Did you find any? God, these puffball mushrooms. What? Yo, I'm not in a good mood, Sally. What, you thought you can spit from far away? Uh-uh. Desert berries. No, we want... Spidey? Okay, let's see if uh, we still get... Oh yeah! We do get... Uh... Using a sickle still gives uh, silk, so that's a good thing. And Ezio, stop going too far away from me, boyo! The distance between us in the co-op gameplay, it starts... Stuttering the screen, or the screen starts stuttering. Man, I'm stuttering now. Oh wait. Man, this feels like this should have some puffball mushrooms here. I left my horse also back over there. At least I know where to go to get it. All mushrooms in jungle and starting river. Jungle. I mean, I know where there is exactly to go, but it's way too far away. The one that I have in my head. In my memory. What? What do you want? I don't have any candy. Leave me alone. Ezio, stop going into the cave. Get out of there. Huh. Mm. We're here. I have to go here to get my uh, horsey. Uh, gonna go get the uh, horse. If you want, you can stay here. You'll probably teleport to me. I'll see if I can go get the horse and uh, you found the cave yeah this place has like uh, scorpion I mean not scorpion spiders and uh, I don't uh, it also kind of has this uh, gems that you need for one of the mods as well as in it's a base game gem but it's used for the uh, lightsabers one of the green gems or blue gems or something. Some colored gems are there in there. Man, I really can't remember where the puffball mushroom... See, I remember the puffball mushrooms right over here. Right here. 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 And the rest of it in this area near Noob River. And then I do know there's a lot over here. This is one of my favorite spots up here. Speaking of which, that is way more closer than where we are headed. Ah, yeah. Okay, Ezio, you may want to come back. I think I'll uh, probably get the puffball mushrooms. Then we can go get your uh, red dragon. If possible. 
Gotta go in 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, at least uh, go towards that. Uh, if you see me on the minimap, uh, just follow me. I'm running, so you should be able to catch up. Uh, we are kind of headed towards uh, Salamander territory, so I'm just running in zigzag. So that I don't get hit by the poison projectiles. AKA spitting poison. Oh, what the heck? In the grasslands. Uh, excuse me, Rhinosaur. Not interested in fighting you. Nor you. Not too interested. I'm getting chased by elephants. Tigers and rhinos. Ezio, if you could follow the river back, that would be great too. Probably. Way better. Oh crap. Oh, come on, mushrooms. Be here. I met that uh, cave dude last time uh, uh, that I showed you. Ezio. The cave that connects the desert to the, uh, you know, grassland or what is it called? Uh, highlands. Come on, mushrooms. You gotta be here somewhere. This little piggy went to the market. Yet he could not give me any puffball mushrooms that I needed. And then there was this wolf that huffed and puffed. And got stabbed by Kratos' blades. Come on, puffball mushrooms. See, these are some locations that I would think that they're there. You know what, rather than wasting time, I'm gonna head towards that, uh... Gah. The amount of running you have to do when you don't remember any nearby puffball mushroom locations. Wait, am I being chased by something? Wolf! Okay, it stopped. Nanda Piggy. As you the more far you are from me, the more uh, frame rates I lose. Moonwalking away from me, Piggy? That was weird. Now, where art thou, O oh, puffball mushrooms? Do I have to go to the island? Come on, man. It has to be here somewhere. Just gotta be here somewhere. Be right back, 10 to 15 minutes. Eh, hey, Nani? Okay. There's your JFK. Lots of frame rate issues because he's too far away from me. Okay, how far is he? Is that far? I move any more further, he'll probably teleport to me, so yeah, I'll just keep doing that. Telet's Island. Usually Telet's Island should have something. Maybe. Maybe not. Hello. I like this spot because it has these weird, creepy voices. It's 
see it has these weird voices in this area and it's also kind of a yeah I don't know if you guys can hear it but that's not what we are here for where the heck is the puffball mushrooms dude none the yoy How is it that he still hasn't teleported? Have I not gone out of range yet? Gah! You are not alone. You are not less than them. You can be free. Do not have to believe their lies. I have left these stones for you. I lost a misguided children. I have subverted their sorceries. So that only slaves of the bracelet. You have got to be kidding me, man. I am the mother of your race. I am secret bearer. God killer. Witch. You settle near this island all the time? Oh. This is one of my favorite places. The time is right. To, you know have a base I have been avoiding it as much as possible for quite some time now just so I don't always make my base near to here I try to find newer places that I haven't uh, tried yet man I'm really not finding puffball mushrooms this is weird if it was Isle of Sipta by now I would have found it. Do I really have to go far away just to get puffball mushrooms, man? Come on, bruh. Also, I don't want to go all the way here. It's, I mean, I, this is more closer compared to all the way here. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Also, sitting on this uh, chair, my backside has become numb. Ow. <laughs> cool location and uh, lore friendly too, yeah. Although I don't like uh, trying to get rid of the uh, bears in the area. But I recently noticed that uh, they made some changes on the island where even if you can... Uh, put foundations on the location where they spawn they start spawning in another location later on they have multiple spawning uh, spots on that island itself it's kind of crazy oh man I'm not able to find How is it that there's so much possibility for mushrooms to be here near the water and it's not or am I not able to see it did I run past it or something no not interested you guys should leave me alone piggies Maybe I'll take some of these. Might come in handy to make bread. Yeah, I don't know. What do I do? Any suggestions? I'm really, really confused. I mean, I'll keep going towards the north and I'll probably end up still not getting it. Maybe I should have gotten here. Just go to river? Which one? Which, which river? Noob River, all the way to the south. 
Okay, I mean, I know one spot near to that. Um, I guess I'm uh, headed towards the Noob River then. Uh-uh, you ain't getting me, kappa. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> oh crap, I'm in trouble now. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> I forgot to see my stamina. Almost got killed. And Ezio is... Where is Ezio? Ezio spawned somewhere. I think he spawned right near the uh, wolves or something. Where is he? He spawned somewhere close to me. Oh well. Oh wait, I'm very close to my horse. Okay, I'm picking up my horse. Good thing I uh, took a shortcut. I'm gonna pick up my horse and then we're gonna ride faster. For a second I was about to run all the way back. That would have taken longer. Like this, right on the surface. Imagine after running all over, and there's some mushroom here itself. <laughs> that would really be annoying. Yo, -ho. forest, you know what to do. Run, forest! Run! Oh, there we go. He's picking up some speed. Frame rates seem to be flickering. Because Ezio is getting farther away from me again. Okay, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. I like the saddle we got from, uh, what do you call it, Battle Pass? The Zingaran something something saddle. Although I'm not a fan of the horn for the horse, but uh, I guess with the whole theme of bullfighting or whatever, seems to go nicely with it. Oh, I see Ezio. <laughs> he's in midair. Like he said. He's gonna be doing a lot of fast traveling. Let's go. I wish I had a straight line to go. Off, off. Ah, leave me alone, dude. Beep beep, coming through. Oh, this one I know. The, uh... Something, the slave road or something? No, this one's the Imperial Highway. If I take a left turn, that would be the slave road or something. 
supposedly an NPC sitting here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Hello, mister. You want to say something to me? Good day, noble adventurer. I am Gilzan, treasure hunter and man of fortune. Oh, this guy is you supposed to be in your uh, separate Meru, right? Okay, you can stop talking now. I don't want to hear you. Oh my god, he just keeps going. And this is the slave road, yep. Okay, here's the bit of a twist. If Ezio spawns here, where I'm headed, he's gonna be in for some uh, craziness because a lot of hyenas in this area. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hyenas everywhere. And Ezio is going to spawn right about now oh <laughs> like I said as you spawned right there and I was about to do like a rebound type jump Okay, I got a... Oh, I am nowhere near where I'm supposed to be. Sheesh. Okay. Lots and lots of hyenas. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay, okay, I get it. Your territory. I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, but then again... I'm not supposed to be here either. <laughs> As you is getting killed. No. Tarzan? finishers now got it I was going for the spank emote now that I got that I'm uh, just gonna get out of here what's Ezio doing anyway is Ezio not getting attacked hmm interesting <laughs> I'm probably headed towards a dead end. But then again, I should be able to make my way out of here somehow. Like show. Yo. And yo. And yo. And yo. Uh. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. So I am near the crocodile boss. 
There could be some mushrooms here. Should I check? I'd rather not waste time. Don't see any mushrooms though. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Where the heck are all the mushrooms? Whoa. Oh, found it! Finally! Gah! That thing came after me but went ahead and fought the crocodile. That was stupid. So dead. Seriously? Uh, just a little bit more and I probably would have made Ezio spawn right near the giant uh, crocodile. That would have been fun. Ezio, I got the puffball mushrooms. We can get high now. Or maybe not. Oh, hey Ezio. What are you doing here? Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Or maybe I did. Hopefully Ezio didn't see that. I mean, he's there on Discord listening, but he said he'll be right back in 10 to 15 minutes. Has been what? Half an hour now? He still didn't show up. Almost there. I think we'll uh, be able to make the uh... only problem is once I put the puffball mushrooms in the in the thing. I wonder if which way am I supposed to go this way? Got the green mushroom yet? Yeah, just now. I also kind of made you teleport in the middle of the hyena territory. You want to run. <laughs> run as you. You came back. You got it. No, I got it. And then you came back. That's how lucky you are. That I got it just when you were about to get back here. You're lucky that I, uh, you have me in your team. Okay, run as yo. Or you could just stay there. You'll probably teleport towards me. I'm gonna uh, put the mushrooms in the, what do you call it, compost heap. And hopefully the wormling kind of hatches. Then we put the wormling into, what do you call it, the animal pen, and then a huge dragon just gets stuck in the animal pen. But then when we remove it, it's going to be a hatchling, actually. <laughs> Hello, hyena. They have a weird way of greeting us. Yo, Ezio, since we are headed back anyway, why not go up against the uh, Red Mother Dragon, see if we can get it. Also, for you, luckily there are two Red Dragons in uh, Unnamed City. So we could fight uh, both the Red Dragons. See if we get lucky. Man, this place is kind of creepy and it gets really silent. That's what bugs me. It's too silent.
Yeah, we still haven't gotten our, uh, what do you call it? Cartographer feet yet. Silence is scary. Yeah. That's because it lets you do all the thinking for yourself. Uh, as you're you're following me, right? Oh, <laughs> teleporting, right? Okay, uh, you see this uh, small hole in the ground right here in between two pillars? Yeah, don't jump in, but uh, this is where we are supposed to go. Uh, make sure you crouch down. So that you don't fall off. But you can see the ghost standing down. Right there. In that circular platform. Stand up. Careful. Jeez, those physics. Okay, it's better. Crouch down, you can see that uh, ghost. If you jump, you're probably gonna teleport back up again. <laughs> to me. But anyways, uh, come with me. Uh, you wanna fight this dragon first, come here. <laughs> this one's a red dragon as well. Uh, but you wanna put the bedroll first. Oh my god, my leg's broken! Bedroll. Yay, yay. Where's my bedroll? Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'm on my way. Watch out, watch out. What the heck? Dude? Nah. When did you get killed? Eh. Hey. Nani. Okay, I'm uh, gonna use the cleaver now. Hey, stop rolling. Nope, I didn't get it, dude. Let's go. Red Mother Dragon, hopefully. Man. Is the Red Dragon supposed to be hard to get the egg from? Or otherwise we'll go get a Green Dragon Egg, another one, just in case. But you said you wanted the Red Dragon, so... Yeah, let's try the Red one itself. Otherwise, we'll have only one green dragon and then I'll make you jealous every time. She she she. She she. 
No. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's uh, try to finish it up. I have to go for lunch as well. <laughs> also, Ezio, another tip for you if you want to lose corruption immediately. Uh, you see some uh, one skull uh, human NPCs. Like the one over here with the... Silent Legion armor. Yeah, so they give you like a heart of a hero. If you kind of eat that or consume that, you lose all the corruption on you immediately. Just a tip. my leg if I'm using heels or something armors that time it doesn't break the leg I don't know why that is weird Incoming There, kill it, kill it. Nice. What do we get? Oh, I want that katana. Fragment of power. Okay, I'm gonna use it again now. Here we go. Come on, man. Nope, didn't get it again. And I'm over encumbered. Oh boy, too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do I get rid of the uh, dragon bones? Mm. I kind of want to make a... What do you call it? Dismantle bench at some point. Oh, this thing. It doesn't work at all. I don't know why. Yeah, whatever. What do you want to do, Ezio? We'll go back again to that entrance. Probably that dragon would have come back again. The red one. This time you do the harvesting. What you say? Ezio. Ezio. La, 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 mm.
Wait, where's the dismantle bench again? I've already unlocked it, okay. Yeah, where did this guy go? You're going towards the green dragon? Uh, the white dragon is not here. We have to go to the north. It's really cold. And we start losing our HP very quickly once it reaches uh, extreme cold temperatures. I'm towards your right side, up top. If you want, we can do that. What the? Oh, you got the golem. Nice. Harvest him. He has blood crystals. Yeah, that's right. Steady, steady, boy. Harvest him. I don't have uh, enough space. Uh, pick, pick, pick. Pick. Uh, it's a stone type. And he's rolling. Is that a pick? Yeah. You should be able to get a decent amount blood crystals. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, blood crystals, uh, we'll need it later on. Yay, yay. I'm headed towards that red dragon again. The one we fought before. Or actually... One second. Shall we go get... Uh, let's go get the cartographer, dude. Come back. Let's go get that cartographer feet. You'll... Probably not teleport towards me, but uh, do run in the di same direction if you can. It's not too far away. But it does have like an obelisk right in front of the uh, area where I'm going. So, right in the center you'll see like a stone, vertical stone. That's the obelisk. Try to uh, attune your bracelet to it. Just interact with it. I already did. I'm headed inside. Or actually I'm gonna... Holy crap, hola. Quite a few of them chasing me down here, so... Tuned it, nice. Is that dragon power, man? Okay, now what you do is inside we go and talk to the ghost boy. I mean, alien ghosty. So once we learn the cartographer, we'll be able to make the uh, map room as well. And we can fast travel directly to some spots that we've already been to. Or should I say, the obelisks be afraid, that you are tuned to. I am just a, shadow. a memory of oils for five voice. fragments. No, thank you. Before the fall, when this I do have some fragments of power. But I'm kind of keeping it for the glider later on. So I'm not gonna use it. This place is where you give one fragment of power and it gives a random scroll. 
you end up getting like infused uh, venom weapons or something which are actually pretty good poison type weapons but uh, yeah basically this is a huge room for one ghost NPC and one random drop item scroll shelf <laughs> yeah no we could have probably used it as a base or something we would have utilized every inch of the place for sure for sure library of esoteric knowledge when we are leaving or something oh it's night already crap we gotta fight that uh, dragon take the stairs left side you see the light right take the stairs towards your left Don't worry about the skeletons, just keep running. And once you're up here, take another left. Keep going up. The staircase leads up. Keep going straight, dude. Keep going straight. You'll go to the dragon. Oh, crap. You brought some more. <laughs> I keep forgetting. You always end up bringing more. Uh, take a left. Right over here between the two pillars. That's where we'll find Mr. Big Guy. I'm gonna place my horse and put down a bedroll. You may want to do the same as well. Here we go again. This time you do the uh, whatever harvesting. Where's my bedroll? Eh? Huh? Is he already fighting it? Uh oh. Oh no, I'm gonna get killed. Watch out, watch out. Tailspin. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Thank you for taking the attention off of me. I'll go with the safer hits now. Almost there. Nice. Javelin we got. Okay. Uh, you harvest this time, dude. Make sure you... It's not rolling away from you? Okay. Did you get it? Did you get a red egg? Ezio. Stop with the suspense. Tell. Okay. 
Anda, so much. <laughs> okay, we're going up against the Red Mother Dragon now, shall we? One last try. And then, uh, if you still don't get it, uh, on stream, uh, let everyone feel bad for you, and then I, as an admin, will give you one egg from the admin panel. <laughs> you want to try a white dragon? Oh, okay, then no more uh, admin panel red egg. We'll give you a white one when we get to the north. Which means we gotta go through Mr... What's his face? Uh... The Black Key Boss Kinscourge. And then we gotta get a level 3 uh, armor smith for the redeemed armor. Or even a level 4 would be actually pretty good. But let's see, maybe you might get lucky this last time. Maybe. I didn't know red ones are this rare a drop. Green one drops pretty quickly. Green is my favorite, so I'm fine with it. For you, you said you wanted a red one. So we're gonna see if you can get a red one. I mean, we are harvesting it correctly. You're using heavy hits or light hits on the harvesting? Light? Okay. Because I always get it with the light hits. Not that it matters, it's just harvesting anyway. But I always use the light hits, so... I mean, the green dragon gave it in the first try itself, so... Maybe it's something. Or maybe it's just my superstition. Who knows? Okay, Misa is here. Where are you, sir? Huh? Ow, my leg's broken. Fixed. It happens probably if you have like a high heel system kind of a thing. With the mods. At least that's what I think. I'm not exactly sure, but... Why am I carrying so much? Let's give... All the good stuff to this horsey to carry. I keep forgetting that I have a horse that can carry all the good heavy items. Saw himself far. Eh? Oh, you already ran away. Nanda. I still haven't put my bedroll yet. Okay, I'm on my way. Although it is really dark. And we are fighting something really, really... Crazy. Not being able to see if it's gonna attack or not. Crap. Am I dead? Oh, God. Oh, it's coming after you now. You may want to, yeah, bring him. Okay, now go with your fight sequence. Watch out! Whoa! How did I not dodge that? Incoming spin! Crap. Oh, you're dead. 
Or not. Yeah! Oh, nice! Life <laughs> I already took it. I got the spear. You can do the harvesting now. Hopefully you get lucky. Lifeblood spear. This thing is supposedly a uh, regenerating, health regenerating or whatever, but that is not as... Do you get it? Did you get it? Mr. Ezio. Crap. Man, this red one is really not dropping, huh? I wanna see. Oh, it's not the sweeping animations. I wonder if I could make the spear with sweeping animations. One second. Uh, sweeping. Uh, Nope. This one doesn't have any of the legendary weapons that I can convert other than a Kironian spear. Huh. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> That's a lot of dragon heads. Okay, what do you want to do, Ezio? Still want to go for the white dragon? Or do I just give you the... Uh, Red dragon egg. You want the red dragon? Man, we're trying. I don't know, or maybe I need to ask uh, Shogakusha, the creator of Ashuri treasure, if uh, the dra red dragon one is rarer than most. Because green one kind of drops pretty fairly, and it's one of my favorites, so... I don't really mind because I like the green one mainly for uh, it being a 360 tailspin type. <laughs> the red dragon you think would do the fire breathing but I've noticed that it doesn't. But it does that uh, yawning animation a lot. So... Let's go and uh, see if we can get uh, that red dragon egg from the dragon one last time near the entrance we fought one, right? So that's the last one we'll do this time and uh, I'll give you the red dragon egg if it doesn't happen. Okay. Like Bakshish. <laughs> hmm. For all the trouble you went through from teleporting uh, from one place to the other and from also teleporting from one death to another. Wait, where am I going now? Uh, I need to be careful. You never know where there are gaps in the floor. I think I'm going the wrong way. Do we need to take a full right turn? Go along the sides of the wall. I think I messed up. I was looking at the west wall. Sorry about that. Maybe G Knight stole my luck. Now he's uh, blaming you, G Knight, that you stole Ezio's luck. <laughs> yeah, blame it on the other guy who's not even in the game right now. Okay, we're here. Or at least I'm here. Legs broken again. Ow, my leg. 
I've uh, put the uh, thing, dude. You can kind of. Okay, ready for this? It is really dark, so give me a second. Okay, you wanna fight now? Hello? Incoming tailspin! Oh crap! I didn't dodge that. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. One, two, three, four. Tailspin, tailspin. Oh, crap, I'm dead. I'm going to the bedroll. Give me a second. You'll also kind of uh, get towards me. I think you'll probably pop up near me. Oh, crap, that's not good, not good, not good, not good. I'm running away, running away, running away. Where did you go, by the way? Holy crap. Oh, you spawned right near me. I'm so dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Yeah, boy. Now harvested, dude. Hopefully you'll get it this time. Come on, lucky number something. Did you get it? Still no? Check in your inventory. Or just type in search uh, egg or something. Red. Red dragon or red. Or egg. In the search. Still no? You spawned on the other side of the map. Oh yeah, uh... Wait, what do you mean? Did you click on something else? Rather than it being the bedroll? Because if you had clicked on something else, then that might happen. Hmm, gotta pick up all these things now. It's pretty nice, right? Tactic. Place all torches. <laughs> Easier to fight at night. They fixed the issue where... Uh, I don't know if it's the mod creator who fixed it or the Funcom. But when you hold your construction hammer and you select a torch. This uh, tiki torch. The standing one. It supposedly kind of produces the light as well. But now it doesn't. They fixed it. So what I used to do is I kind of used to always hold that uh, hammer without actually crafting anything. I would get a light source. Just hold it and just drag it around all over. At night especially. Okay, let's go.
At least you're getting used to the dragon patterns of fighting. Ow! Anna! Oh, no. Yeah, cobras. Holy crap, that took out quite a bit of my health. I thought that was not that much of a... It had only one stack of poison, it took out so much. Noni. Okay, I'm headed towards the camp as yo. I'm gonna put both of the uh, eggs for crafting. If you don't want the red one and you want the white one, then we can wait until we get the white one. Until we are able to go to the extreme cold temperatures of the north. What do you want to do? Red is fine. <laughs> Of course it is. Mushrooms. Boom. It's getting ready. Green dragon is getting ready and uh, let's get the uh, Red dragon for ya. Hmm. Wait, there's no red dragon egg? Oh, there it is. Red Dragon is also getting ready now. Do you have wood? I need another 70 of it. Oh, it's okay, fine. It's, it's fine. Wait, I'm getting branches from this? Uh... I'll just keep an eye on the dragons thing and uh, let me know if it's ready. The compost heap. I'm going to get some wood. Uh, where is it? Uh, if I could. Uh... Oh, another snake egg. Nah. What the heck? Dude, sandstorm. Get inside the tent. I'm on my way. Actually, it won't hit us. We can actually have a good view of the sandstorm. If you want, you can stay outside and watch. If I'm not wrong... What? What? What happened? Gah. Stupid, crazy person. You want to get finished? Come here. I'll give you a finisher. Whoa! 
Wow. Yeah, boy. Holy, look at that, dude. Man, that's a view. There's one cool thing in this game. This gigantic that they've made. The sandstorm on Exile Lens and the uh, Maelstrom tornado on Sipta. Probably the coolest looking... Uh, I don't know. Calamities. Yo, no, 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 no. Wait, that was a named character. What did you do? Hey, hey, ha! Hey, yo. Yellow name bar. Who'd you kill? Wait. Oh, uh, never mind. I thought you killed a... You know... Worker thrall or something. He has elephant head? Trophy, probably. Hey, eh? What is this? Something's following me under the floor. And now it's gone. Ah, it's still there. Come on, Ezio. Let's get the... Uh... Okay, green dragon is ready. Oh, boy. What is it? Just when I need Dude, do you have like uh Yeah, never mind. Okay, I'm uh, placing a huge 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 where do I place it? Crap, you know what? I'm gonna place it on the inside here. It's gonna be really, <laughs> really crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit weird. Oh man, it's too big. One second, dude. I don't want these to kinda... Two hours left on these two. Okay. Where the heck do I place uh, the animal pen now? Shall I place it downstairs? You know that flat piece of uh, structure here? As yo. Over there. Shall I place it there? What is Iron Maiden? What do you mean Iron Maiden? Where did you see that? That uh, chest had it. Uh, the decoration, I think. Yeah, it says torture device. Y if you want, you can kind of go inside it, interact with it, you'll get killed. You do know the Iron Maiden uh, sar sarcophagus, right? Those uh, coffin looking things and it has spikes inside. The torture device, yeah. So I'm gonna place it in that direction. Over there, do you see it? Flat piece of land. Uh, I'll put it over there, okay? Yeah, come with me. Also, we don't have a bedroll. We do have a bed inside the tent, so you can always choose the bed to go to. It'll bring you back to this camp. Okay, as yo. Huge animal pen. And wait, what do we give this thing? Oh no, dude, this thing requires. Uh... Oh, I forgot about this. This thing requires uh, carcasses of our pets. 
the fallen companions it's really hard to keep them fed i'm gonna make an npc that uh, probably gives uh carcasses on savage wilds i'd made a butcher or someone who would uh, kind of give uh you know trade or sell meat for gold shall i make a npc here okay first what i need to do is economy add a merchant let's see butcher or actually uh, just uh what do you call the guy who feeds animals? I'll just put it as... Uh, some type of a keeper? What keeper? Animal pen keeper? No. Zoo keeper? No. Uh, I'll just type it butcher. That way we can end up adding any type of uh, meat or raw flesh or whatever that we need to get from this guy. Okay, adding items. Going with consumables. Actually, rather than consumables, I need to give... Come on, come on. Don't move around much. Uh, right now I'm in the admin panel using Pippi. As you well. just stay. Otherwise, the frame rates will drop even more. Okay, just stay for a sec. Uh, carcass. Okay, we're gonna have uh, ostrich. Uh, this guy will sell for ten ostrich for. 10 gold coins. Yeah, we'll do that. 10 ostrich, 10 gold coins. Shobel. And uh, boar. Gazelle. Bear? No. Uh, something. Jaguar or something it uh, probably needed. Or panther, I don't know. I know it's weird, but it uh, takes all these uh, carcasses for uh, the dragon food. Dragon is not easy to take care of from this mod at least. And now we gotta get a Thespian, the NPC. And then place the test beer and raw over here. What do we uh, make this guy wear? Oh, I got that uh, bazaar item recently. Maybe I'll uh, give that one itself. Speaking of bazaar, new items in the bazaar seems like a lot of pets that I don't want to buy. I already have the elephant. Vendian. These also I have. I've never tried it. Oh wait, I have. For a samurai look or something. Okay, this one I wanted to. Armor of the Fiend variation. Okay. I'm gonna give this guy economy. Nah. Cheap metal. Fiend. Armor of the Fiend. One, two, three, four, five. And then all I have to do is... Equipment. What the heck is this? Oh, there it is. Head. Torso. Uh, legs. Feet. Hands and apply close apply there we go he's got a set of armor now basically sable 
profession merchant butcher what do you want to call him Ezio or G Knight you guys want to call him something his profession is the butcher his name on the other hand what do you want to call him any ideas there'll be a delay for Rajnikanth okay what about you G Knight <laughs> Ezio wants to call this guy Rajnikanth one of our uh, really 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 famous superstars in India G Knight is not there. Okay, I'll go with uh, Rajnikanth itself then. I don't know if there's too much of a delay on the stream though. Okay, Rajnikanth it is. Uh, I've never used that name for an NPC before, but uh, okay. There we have it. Basically, Rajnikanth here can sell these items. I'm gonna also have to check if... Uh, I never gave our economy, dude. We don't have the proper means of getting things done right now. Because, let's see, economy... I never gave gold for ourselves for every hour or so. Oh, wait. 100. Uh, use real time. Every one hour, we'll end up getting uh, 10 gold. Or I'll make it every 30 minutes. That way, we'll keep earning gold for no good reason. But it's not going to happen immediately right now. So, I don't know what we're going to do. We don't have gold to buy this. Unless... I actually make some way of getting the pippy gold. Uh, I have to make another NPC or something. You know what? I'm just going to make another economy. I'll make him itself the trader. He's the butcher. He's the trader. Oh, everything. Uh, banker. We go to the banker. Don't move as you once again. Yeah, no, GK. I mean, G, G Knight. I wasn't thinking this would happen. But to be honest, just to get carcasses, we have to catch the gazelles. And we have to tame them in the animal pen. Rajnikan the butcher. <laughs> yeah, basically... And we have to get our own pets killed and then use the cleaver on our own dead pets to get the carcass. Otherwise, we don't get the carcass. That's the weird messed up part of taking care of these dragons, basically. Uh, uh, right. Okay, coins. Okay, as you, every time you find any coins or something, you know what? Uh, let's just keep it to gold itself. Gold. Uh, okay, if you get a gold ore, one ore, you can sell it to this guy for one gold coin. If you have one gold coin, you can sell it to this guy for one gold coin as well. Pippi coin, of course. If you have one gold bar, on the other hand, you can sell it for 10 pippy gold coin. 
Okay, this should do it. Uh, hopefully this works. You, sir, are now a banker. Apply. Close. So I need to sell. I have gold, 14 gold. Ooh, I got coin. Uh, three gold bars. Okay. I got three gold bars I can sell. One Boom. I got 30 gold. Now I'm going to convert this guy to the butcher again. I could have just used the admin to get things instead. But I'm making this NPC so that later we're not going to be using the admin. Instead we'll end up uh, trying to get coins or gold or whatever to get this. Uh, I'm going to get the boar. One of it. Should give me 10. 10 gold coins. I got that. And I'm going to get a showbill or... Actually, you know what? Never mind. Come here, dude. Let's see if this works. Where's the carcass? Ah, oh, these carcasses are really big. And Nani. Okay. Wait, it's not working? No way. Wait, what do I give... They eat carcasses, don't they? Or did they change the diet program of this thing? Ezio, could you get some uh, meat or something from the camp? It's not eating feral flesh. It's not eating exquisite meat. Could you get the exotic flesh? Yeah, the exotic one probably... Uh Wait, what? When did they change the carcasses thing? Did they change the carcasses thing? No way. Uh, maybe I'll try the shoe bill. And the gazelle. Just in case. Yeah, boy. Carcass. Nope. None of the carcasses work. Crap, and I wasted my gold. Uh, please do get the exotic one. If that's the case, then I may have to change the materials that the butcher is going to give. Ezio. On the yo. See, this is where I feel like there should have been a pool over here. Could have just jumped. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I thought he jumped off. Yeah, uh... Put it into the animal pen. Oh, you got me kid me. Okay, just give me a second. One second. The screen might uh, freeze. Don't worry. Uh, I'm just going to the Discord group. Shoga, Kusha, Ashuri, Treasure. Where is the, uh, the, the important info? No, not this one. Ashuri, Treasure. Wait, where's the, uh, mod bugs, what do I need to do, Ashuri treasure, okay, I mean, that's the update notes, ah, crap, <laughs> I'm just checking, uh,
There should be some uh, changes made for the dragon. Pets here be dragons. Dragon husbandry. Okay, we use the volatile gland and puffball mushrooms. But uh, it still says ostrich carcass and boar carcass, gazelle carcass. I don't see any changes. Oh, draconic fodder. Crap. That's the thing I was missing. Uh, it's my, my bad. Something to do with the, the alchemy bench. I forgot about it. It's this uh, weird pink color gruel or something. That's what we need, not the carcasses. Oh. I, I messed up. Yeah, it's here. Okay, uh, Ezio, could you uh, get the carcasses, all of it? It's gonna be heavy. Just take your time and come up here. Add it to the uh, alchemy bench. Doesn't matter which we add, we'll end up uh, being able to get the... We need honey. Honey, honey. Yeah, boy. Got some honey. Look at that. Good thing I had most of the items with me. I just need the carcasses, dude. Don't tell me you're climbing up the wall. Are you? Oh, there you are. Did you get the carcasses? I put it in the table. Eh. Yes, <laughs> yo. Nanda. It was in the animal pen. Okay, it's okay. Uh, I'll make the horse carry the heavy stuff. Those carcasses are really high in weight. Just carrying 10 of them would be too much. Right then, we're almost there, dude. Almost there. After we make this, I can go for lunch as well and be done with today's stream. G Knight, I hope you kinda enjoyed this bit of a gameplay today. Whoever is watching, hope you guys enjoyed this bit of a gameplay. We're almost about to finish getting our dragon pets. Almost. Oh, what the? What did I just pick up? Ah, it's, oh, this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay. Make and. Got the draconic fodder. Okay, so what this thing does is uh, they'll also act as uh, what do you call it? Uh, your pet food. That's what they changed. I forgot about it. You do need the carcass, but you have to kind of make use of these particular pink color gruel that you see here as yo. And do you see it? 
so basically the pink color gruel okay come with me sliding down again is you behind you go to the animal pen Okay, I don't know how long this will take, but uh, there we go. Two dragons getting ready. One green, one red. I guess uh, we don't need the banker. We just needed the butcher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to make myself uh, normal. No more admin. Also, as you uh, in the global chat, you'll see that every 30 minutes we get 30 gold or so. 30 gold? No. Uh, 10 gold or so. Gold coins? That is the pippy coin, by the way. It's just something that I'm supposed to set at the very beginning of the gameplay. Also, we're just testing this out, right? We still haven't gotten attacked by any werewolves. I don't know why. Everyone says they're getting attacked. I'm not getting attacked at all. I mean, we did kind of activate the... Uh, whatever, that sacred hunt. I just keep looking at the animal pen. When they're ready... You'll see some uh, surprise. This armor actually looks pretty cool on the on the male character. He looks like a kind of a hunter, like a swamp hunter or something. He's got that white mustache, 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 yo. Halfway there, still yet to happen. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I got some attribute points I can spend. Uh, what do I give it to? Your active followers receive 50% increased healing. Hmm. That would be nice, but I think I'll go with Berserker, while below 50% health, you deal 25% more damage. Yeah, that one would be good. Three ranks in the strength, agility, or oh, vitality I need. Faster healer, you receive 50% increased healing from healing effects. That would be helpful with the potions. Two ranks in vitality and the rest of it, I think agility should do it. When you attack from the back, that should do some decent damage. Almost there. 80% done. Get ready to be amazed. Come on, dragons. Show yourself. Yo ho. Giant. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's too big for the animal pen. Where's the other one? The other one's also done. There it is. As you, you can pick up your dragon. They're not actually that big. Uh, to be honest. So 
So you can just pick them up. Put it in one of your slots. So basically they're this size. I'm gonna call this Boomy since it's a green dragon. Boomy meaning earth. And of course, uh, split here. Uh, what are you gonna call? I usually call the red dragon as Agni, but it's up to you. I've given the food uh, for it. If you want to change the name of it, let's uh, take it out for a stroll. See if it can rank up a little bit. But make uh, no mistake, they are pretty much like normal pets. They will get killed. It's not easy to get them, you already know. So make sure to go after like easier, simpler pets. Still thinking of what to put. Aziel. The name. Okay, okay. You, my friend, need to relax with the following up to 10 meters, 15 meters. Oh, it runs so good, man. Look at that. Like a bulldog. <laughs> like a very happy bulldog. Okay, let's go uh, teach these crazies next door not to shout at us when we walk by. Go, Boomy! Tailspin! Yeah! You missed, Boomy! Noise, look at that hit. The noise is a bit slow, but yeah, boy. Oh, I wanted to do the finisher. Come on, Boomy, you gotta give me a chance here. Yeah, tailspin. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. It used to do a lot of damage before. But, uh... Oh, also if you're holding the chain blades in your hand, your pets, even if they kill the enemies, you'll get the orbs. As long as uh, you've equipped it in your hand. That's one cool thing about it. Also, keep an eye on your... Uh, What's what's the name again? Ashwatthama. Okay. Yo ho. Crazy peoples. Attack. Yeah, tailspin, tailspin. Boom, there we go. Nice. Get him, dude. Get him. Don't pose in front of him. Get him. Yo, dude! Hey, yo! What, what did I tell you? Did you see your boy? No, red one has its own specific moveset, right? So if you want, you can make it completely melee attack. Or I don't know if it has its uh, fire breathing though. Here's the thing. I don't know if the mod creator has made it in such a way that if you rank it up to a certain point, they do different attacks or something. That could be a possibility. I've never ranked them up completely. And whenever I did, it was always the green dragon. So I already know all of its uh, moveset. Red dragon, on the other hand... Very at the very beginning of the mod or something when they made it, I know it had like uh, fire breathing, but later on, I think they kind of did not give the fire breathing to it. I don't know why, but I'll ask again today. 
Maybe uh, Shogakusha will let me know. Or probably someone who's using it will let me know. Because it uh, used to have, like, very long back, like, at least three years back, maybe four years back, I would say. It's been a long time since this mod has been made. It's only getting updates right now to match the uh, base game major updates so that there's no issues. But it's not getting uh, mod related updates though. If that makes sense. But yeah, you do see how quickly they consume the food, right? Your guy had like 44 had given. But yeah, basically they can also eat the carcasses if you want, but I would say make them in the alchemy bench because these are way better for healing at least. You saw how quickly he kind of healed, but they are a bit squishy right now, so make sure to rank them up slowly. You don't want uh, the same thing to happen as Cynthia. She became Mentiapath. <laughs> okay, these guys, I think we can probably put them in here. Or do we... I don't know where to put these guys. These guys are a bit big itself. Huh. I'll put them here. We do have some space here if you want to squeeze them in between the stable and the door or anywhere is fine that should be fine Okay, let's finish it up for today. Hey, Ezio. Uh, shout out to G Knight and Ezio uh, joining me on the stream chat. Ezio joining me on the game as well. Uh, shout out to those of you who watch the streams anonymously. Thank you for watching. We are finishing it up. Ezio, stop doing that, dude. I know you're not doing it, but the game is messing it up with the, uh, you know, the jiggly bits. Well, I'm going to take a seat and finish up for today. A relaxing afternoon, is it? I was hoping it would be... You know, evening time, but uh, it's too hot right now. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you again for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this bit of a gameplay. I will catch up again, maybe with Ezio again if he's free. Let me know Ezio, uh, day after tomorrow or probably tomorrow evening also is fine I would say. Just let me know if you're free and if I'm in the mood to stream. Because in the morning I won't be free so yeah. Anyway, see you guys. I'm done. Thank you again. And as always, you guys keep smiling. I'll see you guys next time. Eto sayonara, etata, S-E-U-N-A. Bye-bye. Why does this music sound so sad? Let's change it up. Yeah, there we go. Much better. See you guys, I'm done. Ciao. See ya, Ezio.